bitch. Get your whole ass down. I read into it. Bro! What up, gamers? It's your favorite fucking demigod. And I'm still stuck on 17, but that's okay. Because eventually, I'm going to beat it. But that ain't even what this about. So it's that time. I got two free chests to open up. The golden chest and the obsidian chest. Let's see what I get in the golden chest. First, crack this bad boy up. And I completely forgot that you're supposed to watch the ad before you open the chest. We're just gonna sit through this for about six seconds or so. It had to be done. And then, the original point of this, to see what I get in my free chest. Eh, that's some dexterity. It's not bad. It's actually my favorite common armor. So to get that for free out of the golden chest, pretty soon I'll be able to fuse it if I get another one. But anyway, let's move on to the real treasure here, the obsidian chest. And uh, the tornado blade. But I did get it in the rare value, so that's new. I think I believe I only have the common value. Or maybe I have the great value. Um, so let's just click over here. And... Uh, yeah, I believe I just have the common tornado, but let's take a look at it. So, to be honest, the tornado, like I mentioned in my last video, is actually my favorite weapon because it's a boomerang weapon, but I don't use it. Well, I haven't used it because the common version is just too weak, and I did a video on that. But the tornado actually has the, the benefits or the potential attack power as my main weapon my sit because of the plus five percent so i believe that every rare weapon comes with the plus five percent bonus and um, i actually do have three five i thought i only had two so that is pretty awesome that my golden chest actually got me the third my third vest here and i just wanted to see what the um, attributes were before i do this freezing and what's with this guy face yo is that some, that's his mustache yo i thought that was like a a fucking smiley face, I mean not a smiley face, but his fucking mouth. And so, the max level increased in the HP increased. I'm kind of disappointed because I really wanted my dodge to increase. Because the dodge is what makes this my favorite armor. But nevertheless, I do have more HP because this is still um, my current armor that I will be using. And like I said, my primary weapon here, I'm going to go ahead and actually try out the tornado now that it hits a little bit harder. Well, way harder. Because like I said, in the, in the other video where I used the common version, it just wasn't doing any damage to the bosses whatsoever. So now that I have this rare version, I'm going to go ahead and test her out and see how I do. Maybe, maybe I can finally get past fucking 17 and i you know i know i know i said do not you know spend too much time upgrading your equipment because you're going to switch them out like i'm doing right here switching out my sit for the tornado just to give her a test run to see how she goes see how she holds up all right so i'm not going to do a live recording of this test run but if i'm having a success i will bring it back so see you shortly in the next clip Hold that thought, gamers. Yo, we are back real quick. You need to get something defensively. I picked up the shield guard, and you it's, it's an absolute necessary, a must, that you get the slow projectile. You probably can get... I, I made it to 17 without it, but for me to get past this shit, you need the slow projectile. I picked up the shadow clone jutsu, so they can help me help me so so the, so they can help me help me beat this fucking my ways all right now you can probably get far without the um shadow clones but they really come they really come in handy helping you clear some of the mob waves that in your pets you need help getting through these waves when you get to the higher waves anyway 
but the important thing is the slow projectile they're they're, they're moving pretty decent right now but without that they move fast as fuck and this is not this is not a live recording i actually started recording this when i thought i was going to be or when i when i passed 17 i finally passed 17 as you can see right there when i slowed it down my shield guard um blocked the projectile and right here i actually ran into this fucking bomb so i'm gonna just kind of point out why i said those three some defense the slow projectiles and the shadow clones so right here with the with the guard it actually blocked the projectiles from the tree that i was running to and right behind me the bomb is incoming and boom the shield blocks it for me so get the shield or the invisible star or both they come your way and that's because it's just too much fucking chaos when you get to these higher levels and right here, even with the slow projectile, my dumb ass run into it. So negative 480, I got 78 fucking HP left. Two more waves to go. Just finished the wave, right? All day, I did a mad fucking dash across the map. I was, I got to move right here with the slow projectile. It was going slow enough just for me to move. And this is me slowing the video down. This is not how slow it actually go. When you get the slow projectile, you know what I mean. So right here, I'm running into the direction for some. Listen, when you when you when shit is everywhere, you just you just move. So you need you need something defensively. I recommend the shield guard. I don't even know if the invincible star would be enough. It would help, but I definitely think the shield guard is needed. The slow projectile is a must. Right here, I was able to get out the way, or at least with it slowed down, the slow projectiles. I was able to move quick enough to get the blocker and get out the way. If they were going full speed, I would have definitely ran into it. Get a few blocks there. And here's the, the shadow clones are coming in handy. They're helping me out. Right here. I didn't even see that coming. Boom. Get something defensively, gamers. And offensively, besides yourself, pick up some shadow clones. Use your pets. My shadow clones are hitting for 400. They're actually hitting for 406, but they're hitting for 400. And just when everything seemed insurmountable, unoverbecomable, boom! I pulled it out. I fucking, I don't know. I I fucking passed. I I, I swear to the arch to art to the archer hero gods, this fucking map was pissing me off. I was getting so frustrated right here. This is my first time going against this boss. I immediately run left. When in doubt, run left. So I slow it down right here and you see that my shield takes up like four or five electric bolts that this dragon, that this thunder dragon threw out. And I didn't really understand this attack pattern with, it, with this being my first time attacking. But I know when it does that right there, as soon as the, strike, the lightning strikes touch down, they split into three little sparks and they do bounce off walls this is right there i just i don't know i, I should have stayed in the corner i didn't and my shield helps me out again right there because when it would have bounced off the wall i don't know which direction it would have ran it probably would have came at me or it went the other way i don't know but i'm gonna get something defensively right here i'm like he's low hp i'm just gonna fucking attack and i see that shit and i just make a mad dash for the middle i don't know if i would have made it or not but my pets did just enough damage to finish this fucking thing off. And right here, I'm like, I fucking beat it. Because there's no fucking angel. There's no devil. There's no spinning wheel. This is the end of the fucking um, abandoned, whatever the fuck it's called. Abandoned dungeons. Get on my fucking nerves. And I beat it. I fucking beat it. Alright, so I picked up level 19. Pretty soon I'll be 20 and be able to upgrade some more of my talents, become stronger. So from level 17 to level 19, I was fucking getting my ass handed to me in chapter 3. So here, here, just been watching this video. This is what I think, or this is what I know I needed, and I'm saying that you need as well. So, something that pissed me off is that when looking for like guides on youtube or whatever all these fucking people who be like this is how you beat it they're like level fucking 45 equipment legendary spiritual creatures legendary and i'm like bro 
I'm a fucking free to play player at like level 15 or some shit. My weapon's level 5, level 1. My spirit creature's level 1. I, like my talents, they're like, where, this is, where, where is the low level guide to beating this shit? Like all of you, it just didn't make sense to me. So I'm making a guide here. I'm going to go ahead and spend my gems. And I keep forgetting that once you spend the gems, you get 20 off. So next time, I'm going to try to save up even more. So that I can actually keep the openings going for cheaper. But you know, I just charge that one to the YouTube game, right? I right, gotta got a a um a great tornado. So yeah. So you got common, great, and rare. So I think that all your equipments can be rare. Especially if you can freeze them and just see how they go. So pick your favorite weapon. I tried the tornado, it didn't work for me. I went back to my favorite, the death site. And it worked for me. But get something defensively. You need, absolutely need the slow projectile. I needed it. So I'm saying you needed it. Unless you're, you know, you're like level 45 on chapter 3. Go for it. But this next video, Crystal Mines. Hope you gamers enjoyed this video. Peace.